Hello, this is Michelle for VALive.tv and virtualassistant-live.com. So, what does it take to be an absolutely remarkable virtual assistant? There are lots of um, things online or, you know, marketing speak about the five P's. And, you know, you can, you, if you look it up on Google, it, you know, the five P's or the P's of marketing, that type of thing. Then you will find lots of uh, different words beginning with P, which um, are relevant to marketing. But this is relevant to virtual assistants. And these are my five P's for virtual assistants and what you can do to be truly remarkable at your virtual assistant business. The first P is um, the most important one. It's passion. You need to have passion for what you do, for your business. You need to be passionate about your skills, about also learning because you need to always be learning in virtual assistance because it's changing so much. So without having the passion, you, you won't really have a very remarkable virtual assistant business. It's not to say that you won't be successful and that you, you won't have what, what you want from your business, but if you want to really go for it and you want to be one of the best virtual assistants and, and one of the really um, the competitors in the virtual assistant industry, you need to have that passion and that fire going for what you do. The second one is you need to be personable. You need people skills. Uh, you really have to be able to communicate well. You need to be able to speak to people well. Um, you also have to have some sort of degree of uh, ability to communicate what you're thinking, what you're feeling, instructions, that type of thing. You And people need to actually take to you and, and you need to be sort of social and, and quite personable. It's, it's an important part of being a virtual assistant because people actually can't see you usually um, because you're virtual so uh, you need to come across as very personable online in a, in a digital way uh, it's not easy but you need this characteristic in you the third one is productivity you have to be very very productive to be a good virtual assistant because the whole basis of your business will be how much work you can get done how productive you can be with the tasks and the various things which are going to be coming at you because you're not just doing billable time. If you were, then it would be pretty easy. But you also have to run the business alongside it. So if you choose that you only want to work eight hours a day, um, you have to probably expect that you will only be doing a few of those as billable time and the remainder of the time you will actually be developing and building your virtual assistant business. So it's really vital that you can be extra, extra productive to get lots of things done during the day and also for business development. The fourth one is patience. You have to be very, very, very patient because you will get um, clients and certain people that you have to deal with who will test your patients. Um, it happens quite a lot with me <laughs> but it's really important that you keep a cool head, that you always sympathize with the other person um, if they're you know upset or anything like that, if they're, if they're eager to get their work done and they put you under a little bit of pressure just be calm, take deep breaths, be patient and make sure that you do the absolute best you can because you, you cannot do better than that. Do your absolute best and everything will uh, fall into place for you. And the last one is perseverance because without perseverance, you will not um, sustain your VA business because a VA business is not built overnight. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It takes time, it takes hard work, a lot of effort. But once you get there and once you make it and you persevere, then it will be wonderful. I enjoy my virtual assistant business very, very much. It's uh, really one of the best things that ever happened to me. And I, I hope if you're thinking about becoming a virtual assistant um, that you don't give up at the first hurdle and you persevere and you get through the tough times, especially during recession and things like that. But in actual fact, the recession, after a couple of months, it I increased my workloads and my business a lot more. So. I think that virtual assistance is recession proof uh, as a business. So anyway, I'm going to read these off here now. 
passion, personable, productivity, patience, perseverance. Those are the five P's of being a remarkable virtual assistant. So you take care and have a good day and uh, I'll see you in the next video.